guys, welcome back to Fashion Attack. My name is Mikal and this is the channel where all your fashion and design dreams come true. Today, we're gonna make something unbelievable. We're gonna transform this box <laughs> and this piece of leather into the most desired bag of 2020. I'm talking about the new Bottega Veneta clutch. All the fashionistas are already obsessed with it. Wait, wait, wait. What did you just say? There's no way. That's like a three thousand dollar bag. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Yeah, and what about all this intrecciato leather? That looks super complicated. Not really. Okay. What about the opening? Like it has this weird structure where it doesn't open in two. It like just opens like in four as a square. There, there's no way you can get why that. Okay. Let's do this. We're gonna make two different versions of the bag. One for DIY pros and one super simple that is going to take you maximum two hours. Plus, we're going to make a game. It's a giveaway. And in the middle of the video, I'm going to say a specific sentence that you have to write down in the comments for which at the end of the month, you can win the bag. We're going to make an extraction. What is the sentence? No, I'm going to say it during the video. But we're in the video right now. Just Come tell me. Let's just tell I started by taking out the wood from the box and then you need a hammer to take out the needles that stay inside the wood. Now here is the list of what you need. Leather of 70 times 70, a handsaw, then two spray paints, coating for wood, glue for wood and leather, this little clip piece that are going to help you to fold the bag and then a staple gun and a marker. Time to cut the wood. We need 26 centimeters, but after these two little holes, because they're not so aesthetic, you can take a ruler, mark the points both on the top and the bottom of the wood, and then you're gonna have to cut them out with a handsaw. As a big suggestion, use something that is taller, cause it's gonna make the work so much easier. You're gonna end up with two pieces of wood like this, when you do it on both sides, and then you have to draw on the back, one centimeter up and trace a line, then 13 centimeters from each side, so you find the middle and you draw one line up. And then lastly, three centimeters from the top, you draw a line. And now you're gonna have to cut this through and this through, but leave the line of the one centimeter on the bottom as it is. Now you have to stick the tiny part, so the three centimeters, on the bigger chunk. This glue is fine both for wood and for leather, so it's gonna work fine. Place it on the side, do the other one, and put something heavy on it to dry. Take out your spray paint and start covering the four centimeter blocks of wood that you left on the side. The original one has one side in silver, one in gold, and that's why I decided to buy both. Once you're finished spraying both silver and the gold side, you have to take out your brush and start coating the wood. It's gonna give it such a warm and elegant feeling to the entire bag. Now, it's time for the biggest characteristic side of the bag, the leather. We're gonna have to cut out the first stripe 70 times 4, the second line 20 times 65 centimeters, and the last one 28 by 50. The entire bag is made of 4 centimeter lines that are the base, the width, and the height of the bag. You can use a magazine to help you go straight, just mark those 4 centimeters, and then trace continuous lines that after you're gonna have to cut away. The easiest way to make the bag and holding the shape while working on it is to use a book as a base. We start by placing the 70 centimeters, so the longest of all our lines, as a base of the entire bag. And now we have to use the shorter lines as the height of the bag. So we always fold the leather in half and then place it with a drop of glue in the middle of the base line. Now it works sort of like when you're making a braid. This means that every time you have to alternate. One time you place it under the leather, one time you place it on top, and so on till the end. Once you finish with the base, lie down the book without taking it out and continue as a braid. Every time you go up, then one next to that has to go on the bottom and so on all the way to the top. As you can see here, I'm using glue, but I learned that it was a bad idea and it was better first to finish the entire braid and use the glue only at the end of the braid. For the moment, just clip them when you find the perfect spot and then continue braiding. Turn the book around and then very delicately you have to fold the leather that represents the base of your bag and then you can start braiding also on the other side of the bag. 
You see me here struggling a little bit to arrive with the piece of leather to the other one and make them touch. And that's why at the beginning, the measurements that I gave to you have a few centimeters extra so that you can overlap them and then glue them and they will stay way more easily together. Use a staple gun to put your handles in the bag and you can also go in with a marker and kind of hide those little staples in the wood. Then you want to take some pair of scissors and cut everything straight so that the inside is nice. An important trait of this bag is the opening that opens as a square instead of only two sides. And that's why we need to use these little staples to put them inside and it's going to allow us to fold the handles of the bag. Take out all the clips that you don't need anymore and you're done! Did she just do that? That's actually so cool! And look at this in the shuttle leather, it looks like so sophisticated! Like, what? So cute, I love that! Time for the bag number two. This option of the bag is not gonna require any cutting of the wood and any painting, so it's way faster. Let's try it together. We're starting by taking out all the needles from the box and then use your staple gun to put the leather on the handles. But in this case, you want to put them only on the two external lines and the two final lines because the center of the bag will not be connected to the wood. That is gonna leave the space for your hand to come through and you're gonna have to sew the leather on the leather. You can take out and clean all the clips that you don't need so that you can go directly in with your needle. Now, sewing leather is hard. So every time you have to pass the needle inside and then do a sort of little dance on the other side to take the thread out on the opposite corner, it's gonna take you some time, but we are gonna need just a few stitches for every corner. So it's not gonna take so much time. Once you are done with all the internal side, both of one handle and the other, we have to go on the two corners, which is a very difficult angular position. So I found out that using the corner of your desk to push the needle through made the job so much easier. Once you're done with the sewing, take out a marker and go and hide all the little clips that stay inside. And then you're gonna want to take out your scissors to make a straight cut so that the inside of the bag looks more clean and neat. And also you can add some glue on the internal to make the leftovers of the glue stay in place. Put it on the side, put something heavy on top of it, and just come back a few minutes later. This is the final result and I think it's amazing. It's super comfortable where you can put your fingers inside. I never really understand how you can walk around with a clutch. And I guess you want to know how to win the bag. Great. Type down here, ship me that thing, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And at the end of the next month, I'm gonna do an extraction for which you can win the bag. Oh my God, it's like, show me that. Show me that, it looks so cute. Come on, pass it up. Oh my God, this is so cute. What are you doing? Making 30 bank accounts? No. But, that, but that's cheating. Maybe. You can make your bag. Does it look like I have that time for that? My dog has a manicure appointment at five. Ooh, girl, rock that bag for sure. This summer, you're gonna be the best one out there. Mm, this leather, it's so cute. Yeah, bring it on, bring it on. Shake it, like, do you like it? I wanna see you shake it. I wanna see you shake it. And yeah, a little dance. What? You can also fit stuff inside of it? That's amazing. What a bet. Woo! <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop the craziness. See you next time.